This video is very important for anyone using a Ryzen 7000 CPU and also to those who love to overclock their CPUs hoping they can get the most out of their chips. Right now most of you might be familiar with the crazy stuff going on with the Ryzen 7000 3D CPUs on ASUS motherboards but you probably don't know that other AIBs are also somewhat indulged in shady tactics when it comes to providing the warranty. However, this is just one side of the coin that you can probably ignore. But there is something even worse going on with AMD that is probably the worst thing a company can do. Make sure to watch the video till the end and also subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss the latest hardware stories like this. The recent backlash ASUS received from gamers community and also from giant creators like gamers Nexus and JS Dusens has also led other creators like Der Bauer to call out the hypocrisy of these companies, particularly AMD. Surprisingly, what Der Bauer talked about in the latest video is something that I've already discussed in one of my posts published on 4th March this year. However, there is one thing that went totally unnoticed. But thanks to Der Bauer, now AMD CPU users will know that they can't just use any CPU cooler they want to. According to their own processor warranty update policy, anyone who is using a CPU cooler that is not a stock cooler provided by AMD itself or is using a cooler that does not conform to AMD's approved specifications for third-party cooling solutions will have his CPU warranty null and void. The crazy part is that it doesn't say that the warranty will be voided if the CPU is overclocked. It simply says that using any CPU cooler out of AMD's recommendation will lead to the end of warranty immediately. And if we check out AMD's recommended CPU coolers list for Ryzen 7000 CPUs, there are just a handful of CPU coolers for the mainstream 105W CPUs and the CPUs that are rated lower than that. This means that if you would want to use any of these on a Ryzen 7800X 3D that is rated at 120W, your CPU warranty will be voided immediately unless of course you lie to the company that you used one of their recommended coolers. This looks so absurd to me because this list already has some of the best 280 and 360mm AIOs like the Arctic Liquid Freezer 280 and 360 which are always on the top of the chart and even the Master Liquid 360, Corsair RGB Elite 360 and the NHT 15 will technically result in a void of warranty. So in a nutshell, all the CPU coolers I recommended on my website for the 7800X 3D are not supposed to be there. Or I guess I have to put a disclaimer on top of the post that these CPU coolers will void your CPU warranty. How stupid can be that? You are made of stupid. Similarly, if you are using a 7900X or a 7950X CPU rated at 170W, you can only use one of these 9 CPU coolers listed on the website. Crazy enough, the list doesn't even have several top-of-the-line cooling solutions from companies like Peakwhite or EKWB. But what makes me mad is that just like ASOS, AMD technically also prohibits overclocking. It says that if overclocking the product even when enabled by AMD will end your warranty and that includes both the CPU and memory. Ironically, AMD does the same when it publishes its benchmarks against Intel CPUs. In its own test comparison of 7800X 3D against the i9-13900K, AMD was using 32GB of DDR5 memory clogged at 6000MHz. In the same footnote area, it states that to operate outside of AMD's published specifications will void any applicable AMD product warranty even when enabled via AMD hardware or software. I think AMD forgot that it was not supposed to use a memory kit clogged at more than 5200 MHz itself and it should also not have used the Expo technology which voids the warranty. But then how could AMD prove that it has a faster CPU than Intel for a lower price? Unsurprisingly, if you think AMD is alone doing such tactics when it comes to overclocking, you haven't read the policies of other companies. According to Intel, if you change the clock frequency or voltage of your CPU, it will lead to the end of warranty. Similarly, under the Intel XMP page, it states that the product warranties may not apply if the processor is operated beyond its specifications. So if you enable XMP to operate your memory clogged at a higher frequency than your CPU can officially support, your warranty might come to an end. When we check the warranty policies of other manufacturers like NVIDIA, MSI, ASUS and ASRock, things are more on the grey side. NVIDIA says that their GPUs are not covered under warranty if the problem is caused by abuse, misuse, negligence or an act of God. It doesn't explicitly state anything regarding overclocking. And this is exactly what other manufacturers are doing. Because they know that simply stating that overclocking voids their warranties might not be a good idea. And a way to cover up this is to just state that if their products receive any damage, they won't be doing an RMA. But there is one company that does cover overclocking under warranty and that is EVGA. It clearly states that overclocking will not void your warranty except if the product is damaged to the point when the components soldered on the PCBs are removed 
removed as a result. So that's what a clear stand looks like and how it should be with other manufacturers. On the other hand, in no way I'm going to defend users who go to extremes in overclocking because at that point the fault is theirs. But the companies must have some boundaries set when it comes to overclocking rather than just ending the warranty with what they allow and use themselves. I feel that the burning of 7000 3D CPUs was already a big concern but now to see that AMD also doesn't allow you to use whatever cooler you want further adds to the problems Ryzen 7000 CPUs were already having. One of them I talked about in this video right here which shows how Ryzen 7000 CPUs have high power consumption even in the idle state and this is somehow also related to the burning of some 3D CPUs. Lastly don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here and turn on the notifications to never miss any latest uploads to the channel. Make sure to hit the like button if you found the video informative and I will see you in the next one.